Hey, uh, um, I've just come out of the courts. We're at Western Super Mayor, um, the county court, and um, I've just paid a fee of £11 to receive some documents under the Civil Proceedings Rules, CPR 5.4.2. That was really good. I know, I know, but well, um, as I was saying, um, I've just come out of the court. Uh, we're in the car now because um, basically the heavens opened. Um, so I wanted to just let people know um, what's just happened um, because this might be of relevance to you as well. You might be able to use this. Um, the civil proceedings rules, um, there's many of them, so obviously one of them being 5.4.2. If you look it up under the um, legislation of the um, government's website, you should be able to find all the information there. Um, now, what I've done, as, it, as you can see here, is I've paid £11 to Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services. I've paid in cash, and this is my receipt. Um, now, fair enough, because I've asked a um, public body for a service, which is copies of some documents. Um, and just like any sort of service, you'd expect to pay for that, which I've done. Now, I can prove that. That was my receipt. The documents I was asking for were relating to um, an ongoing issue I have with my landlord, um, which I won't go into all the details of that now, but the point is um, I've been challenging the courts with respect to um, lawful court seals as opposed to stamps, and I wanted to see, not that I told the courts this, I wanted to see what documents the court held um, on this matter and if any of them were um, genuine court seals. Now, as I'm flicking through the paperwork here that I've been given, according to the courts under the CPR 5.4.2, this is the full extent of the documentation held by the court. So, all of this information is what the court has based its position on and you have things like this that is a, a stamp not a court seal a court seal um, I'll put a copy of one of these up at the end of this film of what a real court seal is um, but none of these documents carry a court seal but more importantly there's, there's I've had to pay 11 pounds for this this paperwork here surprisingly um, now this documentation um, was produced as a result of my landlord going to the public service, Her Majesty's Courts, and asking for certain proceedings to be taken, which uh, for the time being have been put on hold with, shall we say, negotiations, getting that sorted now. But what seems to be the case, the absence of a receipt for payment by my landlord means that the landlord has gone to this public place at the public's expense and the court has convened court time and asked what the case is and they've been given evidence and all that sort of stuff and according to, if we assume the courts have been honest and given me everything there's been no payment for proceedings now, I have taken my own civil proceedings in the past for various different things, and in, including even this, where I've had to ask for information and paid for the service, which, you know, again, you would expect. Now, in the past, um, I've either had to... Uh, I've been asked to pay for my applications to the court or present evidence that I'm exempt. In other words, um, I have to present evidence of uh, low earnings or income support and sometimes they might ask for bank accounts as well. It depends on which um, uh, uh, which court you're dealing with as to you know, what sort of level of uh, proof they want. But basically the reason they need that is that they need to pay themselves one way or another and they need to be able to justify that by me saying to them I haven't got the money but I'm entitled under the human rights and my legal rights to get um, uh, due process. Everybody is equal before the law. Now, if I haven't got the money, I am exempt and the court gets paid through other means, which I don't know that much about. Um, now, this landlord has disclosed to the um, London um, stock market that they, with their liquid assets and their static assets, are worth in excess of one billion pounds. So I think they can pay for 
proceedings to begin. It's only a couple of hundred pounds, but they haven't. Now that means two things. One, that they've done something wrong, but that's neither here nor there. More importantly, from the public's point of view, the court has considered the application for a private organization against the, a member of the public, even though it's a, a private contractual thing between them, but it's still a, a court has considered this uh, in respect of the public at the public's time, expense, um, and without proof of um, payment. So that's something I'm going to be looking into now. So I know there are people out there who are looking into um, court proceedings and where the private organisations are and the courts are in some sort of collusion. Um, I've also proven this in, in, recently in another situation with the local um, authority around here as well, that the same thing applies. Um, so it seems as though the courts, when it comes to big organisations, are taking action against little old Joe Bloggs, members of the public, without even being paid for that process to be initiated, which is required by law. If you want to take action, you will have to pay for it or prove that you are exempt. These billion pound organisations, these local authorities, it seems as though they don't have to pay anything. So um, I'd say watch this space um, and uh, I'm going to follow this up and probably follow this up with another video to give you an update on um, what I do and what the results are. So thanks for your time.